how this trick is done is not important. The most important thing is this first step. You know, how do magicians create the impossible? We always take the first step. The biggest illusion you ever experience in your life is when you tell yourself something cannot be done. It's not real. You create that. My name is Vin Jiang. I'm an entrepreneur, a magician, a teacher, and a keynote speaker. In the last three years, I've been so blessed to be able to work with event organizers and companies from all over the world. People perceive you and who you are via your voice. Your personality is dictated by how others perceive your voice. It took me seven years to learn the foundations of how to use my instrument as a leader. And I can teach you in moments. Simplicity is not stupidity. Simplicity is distilled wisdom. Every single year, you face the same set of challenges. How are we going to put on an event that is better and more unique for all of our attendees? I crafted my keynote with this very thought in mind. I didn't want to create a talk like anything you've ever seen before. I wanted to create something completely different. I know this is a bold statement, but I've been a mad scientist about this. It's taken me years to write this keynote. I've dedicated myself to be able to help you create a unique experience. The game is called Which Hand Is The Tissue In? So do it very slowly so you can see. No, 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 don't, don't laugh. You would have fell for it too. Magic is just a problem you can't solve. Think for a second how many perspectives there are in this room. There are over 14,000 perspectives in this room. There is no problem you cannot solve. There is no opportunity you cannot seize. Perspective is power, and together, anything is possible. As a keynote speaker, I understand that I have a responsibility. Every time I go on stage, there are three things that I have to achieve. The first thing is that I must educate. I also must entertain, and I must inspire. When we do something truly new and innovative, we're doing something that most people won't wait in line for, which is how you make something that people will wait in line for. When I'm on stage, I use magic as my metaphor. It allows me to bring people on stage, we can have great interaction, great audience participation. And the reason I do this is because magic is one of those rare art forms in the world where it evokes an emotional experience. And when you can attach a message to that feeling, it sticks. I guess this is why they say, people will forget what you've said, people will forget what you've done, but people will never forget how you've made them feel. Audience members, just guess a letter as we look at this. Yes, good, thank you. What was the word? Yes, nice and loud. Thunderstruck. Thunderstruck, of course it was. Big round of applause, it was. Thank you so much, Nick. What I love most about magic is that it brings out your inner child. It doesn't matter where you're from, it doesn't matter how old or young you are or what leadership position you're in, you still have your inner child intact. This is the most beautiful part of a human being. This is the part of you that still believes that anything is possible. When you awaken this part of your audience, you'll open up their minds. And with this open mind, they'll be more receptive to the new ideas that you'd like to share throughout the event, the new strategies you'd like them to adopt, the new goals that you'd like them to set. One of the most brilliant things being a speaker is that I get to travel all around the world and speak. And I speak to all different industries. And one thing I notice is that it doesn't matter what industry you're in, where you are in the world, those who are the most successful in the professional world, they're not the ones who are the smartest. They are not the ones who are the most technically inclined. They are the ones who have the right balance between great technical ability and great communication skills. If you're this good technically and your communication skills are here, do people perceive you to be this good or this good? You are only as good as you can communicate. The biggest question I get asked as a magician is, how do you create the impossible? And that's a good question, but it also has a simple answer. Magicians are able to create the impossible because they first believe it can be done with conviction. Why is this belief thing so important? It's important because our beliefs dictate our actions. Anything is possible in life if we believe it to be so. Those of you in this room who are crazy enough to believe you can achieve all the goals you desire, that you too one day will change the world and have your impact, you're crazy enough to believe this, then you are the people who will. Good luck. Thank you very much indeed.
Is this is this real? Uh, Have I finished? It was oh. perfection. It was perfection. Oh, oh can I give you? It? Yeah, yeah, I did. Oh, thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank it's you. Oh, thank you. How that's, can I possibly that's one day get you in my top five? <laughs>